With winds up to 110 miles per hour, two EF1 tornadoes swept through Tennessee this afternoon. One touched down in Pickett County. Another twister formed just west of Cookville and made its way southeast. And our Storm 5 alert continues tonight as the potential of another round of severe storms make their way to the mid-state. Good evening, everyone. We have live team coverage tonight on the severe weather, and we begin with News Channel 5's Rebecca Schleicher. She joins us from Trusco, a business in Putnam County where one tornado touched down this afternoon. Rebecca. Rory, this business had several structures with severe damage. You can see this roof right here completely blown off this building. It didn't take us too long to figure out what happened to it. If you take a look over here, you can see the roof landed right there, mangled. People in this area are assessing the damage tonight and breathing a sigh of relief that the losses were just property. Devastation left behind after a tornado tears through southeast Cookville. I started seeing the debris block blowing up and around into a circle. <clears throat> so I got down here, drove down, and my car started swaying. Tuesday was the first time Jody Benson ever saw a tornado. Holy crap, we got a tornado. She tried to outrun it, but turned the wrong way. So I pulled off and went into the church and held on there. and. Braced myself up against it and I said, Lord, please keep me safe. Call it a miracle. She and everyone else survived. <laughs> the tornado seriously damaged more than a dozen buildings, including barns and hundreds of trees. The Miller family has four generations living on land in the family since the 1940s. We didn't completely lose a cattle barn. We got a couple of sheds here. We lost some tin off of. And then the rest of it's just trees. So many trees. In the area around Double Springs, Hawkins, Crawford, and Buffalo Valley Roads, it's as if trees fell from the sky. I've watched them grow from very small trees to this, and now they're gone. Help arrives within minutes of the storm as neighbors show up with chainsaws and help on rooftops. And while those who lost property know it's a long road to clean everything up. Take it as it comes. They also know this twister could have been much more cruel. Yeah, I do feel lucky, and I thank him right there. I really do. And some of the lights are back. And some of the lights are back on tonight as the power company has been working. We've seen so many dozens of crews out and about trying to pick up the power lines off the roads and get them back up and working. We do know a few families were stuck inside their homes today because power lines had fallen on their rooftops, but they are now cleared tonight. But people are bracing right now. I don't know if you can tell we have a little bit of lightning out here for a possible another round of storms. So everyone's really just waiting to see what happens out here in the Cookville area tonight. Reporting live, Rebecca Schleicher, News Channel 5 HD.